I got a box of art supplies today. Thanks to Ginger Graves. She's wonderful. Um, I pre-opened it so nobody would have a heart attack when I used my knife. So this is what I got, and like I say, many, many, many thanks to Ginger. It was wonderful of her. The supplies are from, and I'm saying this out loud just for Candy and for Diva. It is from Dick Blick, Dick Blick Art Supplies. The reason I like them is because they're a lot cheaper than a lot of other places. Okay, so this is a pre-cut mat. In a standard size that I use a lot so that is wonderful because that means I'll be able to get a drawing done and frame it without worrying about having a mat cut which is expensive and of course they sent get my strap out of the way here they sent a catalog and the list of stuff this is a stretch canvas 11 by 14 it's got wide edges on them which means that I can paint the outside edges and actually this one's going to be used for a painting for ginger and I can paint the edges and she won't have to frame it if she doesn't want to because it's kind of like with the edges painting you don't have to frame them so that's awesome and look at this a set of charcoal pencils which I use a lot of and it's got a pencil sharpener in it that's great 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 this is liquid fine detail oil medium and what I use it for number one if you add it to the oil paint it makes the oil paint dry a lot faster and you can use it to like make the if the oil paint's a little bit thick it'll make a little bit more buttery consistency and easier to use also it is wonderful when I'm doing oil paints I do a lot of layering and this will make transparent colors more transparent so that is awesome I use it a lot oil paint and oil painting supplies are really expensive so this is like a treasure chest for me and this is brush cleaner, which of course we need all the time. All the time. And then I have another pre cut mat in a bigger size. And see, the colors with the, uh, both of them, are, they're the same, but the colors are perfect for charcoal drawings. And that one is a 16 by 20 outside. So that's the thing, outside edges are standard size frames. So you can frame them a lot cheaper, which is important. And then I have oil colors. And here we have, this is yellow ochre, which is yellow that I use most often for most of my oil paints because I paint a lot of wildlife and stuff and this is a nice subtle yellow like you find in nature you know like works really good for sagebrush type settings and stuff like that so perfect and we have some cobalt blue which is the blue that I use the most often and they're so expensive this is like Christmas time in July. And some cerulean blue, which is a nice lighter blue. I usually only will use like one basic red and one basic yellow and one basic blue for each painting. 
and, the, and mix all my colors from those ones. But which ones you use totally sets the atmosphere for the painting. So that's like a lighter, brighter blue. And, my goodness, it's hard to open up stuff one hand is. Oh, and there's two colors in here. And what we have here is Indian red, which is a nice red color, kind of earthy red. And we have some manganese blue, which is another like a brighter blue than the cobalt. And then we have transparent gold ochre, which is wonderful. I use this a lot for layering, layering colors on top of colors. And the last one is the Indian yellow, which is a nice bright yellow. Kind of an orangey type of yellow. So there we go. There's the oil colors, and I got the mats. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Ginger. Every time I get, like, art supplies, then it's like, um, you've got to daydream about what kind of masterpieces you're going to create. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate it so much. So very, very much. Thank you. And everyone have a great week, and I'll talk to you later.